We start with another twist in the effort to save the Duranguito neighborhood. Ten years after El Paso voters approved building an arena for the quality of life bond, there is still no arena. Now city leaders are looking to build something similar to what was approved, but trying to settle lawsuits by preservationists aimed at preventing Duranguito from being demolished. One person who is celebrating this latest move is 93-year-old Antonia Morales, who says those buildings should be restored into what they once were, businesses. I agree. They should not build the arena, and they should repair those buildings and put them to work. They should look for a way to bring jobs. 93-year-old Antonia Morales was the lone holdout when the city launched its relocation program for Duranguito residents. She has lived here for 50 years. The city also relocated 13 businesses in what they believed would clear the way for the construction of a multi-million dollar multi-purpose cultural arts and performing center. Throughout all that, Morales stayed and an entire movement to keep Duranguito intact was started by historians like Max Grossman. Grossman, with the help of millionaire J.P. Bryant, sued the city and litigation continues to this day. New city leadership now wants something to happen in that neighborhood, even if it means settling pending lawsuits. Is it possible to build what the voters asked us to build, while at the same time being able to find a happier middle ground with um, Mr. Grossman? In terms of the historical value of the buildings, right? Exactly. So um, our understanding is that they um, want to see those buildings as is. And so can we look at other alternative options for those? This large poster sits in front of Doña Antonita's apartment. She says she recalls when there were thriving businesses here like Restaurant Flor de Mexico, La Esmeralda, La Norteña and Star Grocery. She says she wants businesses to return to this area. They should put back those buildings and put businesses. That's what El Paso needs, businesses and jobs. City staff put out what's called an RFQ or request for qualifications for engineers and architects to see how best to proceed with the construction of an arena while still preserving these buildings. Is it possible that perhaps the arena would not be built in the Duranguito area, but the RFQ asked for to look at anywhere? Not likely, because the direction from the counts, from the voters is that it had to be downtown. We don't need little games. We need El Paso to bring many jobs, invite other companies from other parts. Now, Cruz Acosta was clear voters want the arena, arena built downtown. I asked her perhaps it could be built downtown, just not in the Duranguito neighborhood. She says the city already owns the land and council has not directed staff to move the location of the proposed arena.